Okay, so I have turned off keep inventory and I've made a backup of my world. So now when I die, I should, yep, I don't have my stuff. Uh oh, oh, it tells me how many blocks away it is. That's actually really cool. There we go, there's my everything. Nice, okay, yeah. I'm gonna back up my world for the experience sake, but um, that's good. I can't remember if I've shown it yet, but it's always a good time to remind you that America is the greatest nation on earth, okay? And I need to store a lot of materials. I will say my iron, my, my dirt golem, he, he mostly exists right now. Like this is the best thing I could think of to use all the excess dirt, you know, when I got three stacks of dirt, you know, I don't want to just throw it away. So his eyes do light up at night. Uh, so there's that I put torches in them. So, um, yeah, he, I, I need a, just a bit more dirt to make another arm. But uh, he exists, you know. Yeah, he, he's like a gingerbread man, but dirt. So this is like right next to spawn. Definitely some awesome cave exploration right next to spawn to be had. That's, I'm going to do this one right now. That's awesome. I just realized that I can die now. And so I'm scared I'm going to lose my 74 levels. <laughs> So I'm gonna go make a, make an enchanting stand and everything so that I don't lose all my levels. So I'm not putting my surplus iron on the surface right outside my house because that's how I lost my last iron block, but I've got quite a few more iron blocks here and uh, I'm keeping them down here, this end room. So hopefully that'll be better. Finally. This is all I needed, a single diamond. I know there's lava very freaking close. Oh, two diamonds, even better. Just gonna, oof. Ooh, this is looking good, man. I just know that there's a lava lake like right here. So that's why I'm being extremely cautious here. Okay. Yes. It's so beautiful. Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword? Now that I have Elytra and rockets, I can oops. Fly. And crash. All right, if I got the coordinates correct, this should be in a woodland mansion. It's taking a while to load. That sounds promising to me. Yeah. We're in the belly of the beast, dude. That's awesome. I better make a house outside this thing, but that's, that's awesome. That's so cool. I just, this just looks so good. So pretty, this view, dude. So good. Please stop. <sighs> okay, so... I think there's a Vindicator. Two hits. He two shots me. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 looks like I'm starting over until I can at least get a freaking shield. <laughs> um, because there's a Vindicator right who walked right into here, which I should have known he would. And um, yeah, I need it. I need at least a shield so that I can just like. Um, block his attacks once I'm in there and then maybe my screen will load enough and I'll be able to fight back but <laughs> this is a little embarrassing all right so uh here's the plan to uh get that vindicator we are going to break our spawn we're going to jump off a bridge
And now we are uh, at spawn again, which is really good because that means I can take another portal so I can attack him from the outside instead of, you know, getting two shot immediately. All right, Vindicator. Ready or not, here I come. Ghastly ghast. Hey, you say? Well, I have something to say to you. What's that? You can't walk over gravestones? I'm okay with that. That's what you get, dude. Got him. Okay. Time to get all my stuff back. Some of that went through the other side. I'm just sure of it. All right. Well, whoa, look at him. He's so protected. And I've got all my stuff again, man. I did not want to rage quit. Oh, crap. That scared me. Oh my gosh, that was easy. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately I wasn't recording, a uh, creeper blew up and uh, d decimated some bookshelves, so now I'll get some more books at home. Then it opened up this room, which seemed like it's a secret room, and I'm actually really glad that a creeper blew up here. So I'm going to take a peek inside. Don't need... Uh, obsidian, that's cool. Yes! <sighs> Obsidian's easy to get. Oh, dang, dude. That's awesome. I didn't know I didn't know this even existed. I don't know what to throw away either. Probably the dirt. No. Nope. Don't care about obsidian. Don't care about dirt. Yes, dude. That's awesome. I'm so poor for diamonds. What I have on me is like everything I have. I go AFK. This is what I come back to. This is a disgrace. I should probably make like an AFK room in my houses so I can just walk in with no problems. All right, so this wasn't insanely necessary, but um, I spawn underground and so I made a big quarry. So. Now you can walk all the way up and down it. I really like um, making quarries in Minecraft, probably because it's a really big thing that I know I can build. Um, I sh I want to learn how to make castles, but I just feel insecure in my castle making abilities. So maybe I'll have to work on that a little bit. And with all that end stone, I made just a little bit more accessible of a um, thing here. And also, yeah, I, I died to an Enderman, and I've still got a bunch of Endstone left, so I think I'm gonna make a uh, Enderman defense, some Enderman defense station. Alrighty, so I've reached a village, and um, I'm on hard mode, so I gotta make sure these guys don't die. Um, the way I like to do that is not by trapping them in teeny tiny rooms, because that makes me feel sad, but instead by um, building walls around the village, which requires a lot of stone. And also, um, I want to be able to reset their trades by just moving the block, which would require slime. And I still don't have slime on this world, but I found a slime chunk. I've marked out the borders and um, I think this is going to be my house and I'm just going to start quarrying under it. And uh, just to get like a little bit of slime and some stone. And then I'll get mending for my Elytra and for my sword and axe, I think. So that's the plan. I haven't built another portal here. I'm fairly far from my other houses, so I'm going to try to be self-sufficient here. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it's going to be an exciting adventure. But you can break the bookshelf uh. and trade them. Yes! I got it! Alright, well, I need to collect some resources to sell with the villagers to be able to buy the um, mending book. 
Also, I use chests that I find in strongholds and stuff as uh, firewood, you know, in spirit of the challenge. So, yeah, read it and weep. At number two. Dang, bed number two, dude. All right, so it's slightly sad, but I'm planning on trading coal for uh, emeralds. But I've got a lot of coal. I don't think I'm going to use up all of this. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to go back to the um, back to the villagers and get that mending stiff. Got mending on my Elytra now. I would just like to say that the Elytra is just like such a good reward for beating the game, you know, getting past the end island. Um, because like, after you beat the game, you got a whole bunch of, you got this huge checklist of other stuff to do. And really a speed boost? Is just huge and elytra is is a great speed boost it's it doesn't make the rest of the game janky to play and you can get around so fast unfortunately minecarts just like don't matter after you get an elytra um but yeah it's just elytra is so fun dude Meow. So this is a weird feeling. I don't have a need for the sugar cane right now. So I'm putting it back in the farm. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm building over the ocean. I gotta say, this is like so pretty. Um, I'm making the castle over the ocean because that is a place you would put in a castle. Um, although this is a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. So not sure if I'm gonna put the foundation all the way down or if I'm gonna make some sort of shelf or something and yeah I put pumpkins on the bottom because these guys exist I, I I might get a mod that unexists these guys just bans them from Minecraft <laughs> maybe I'll get a heart of the sea just to like tell myself I unlocked it but yeah these these guys are a pain like if they were here if they were here during nighttime only, then, you know, it would be understandable. Get out! Um, but they're just, they're just always here. They're ruining my chill Minecraft experience. And I just wanted to talk about how pretty the sea looked. And now I'm on a first world problem rant about the drown.